what's up guys back with another video today today will be my top stocks I'll be looking forward to tomorrow my watch list and they will all be bank stocks the top three will because of what happened with the banks um, on the new bill so let's get into it make sure you guys leave a like subscribe comment below turn your post notifications for that YouTube algorithm and so you guys can be alerted quicker when I start putting key levels on these stocks you guys can get it quicker so you don't miss the levels okay so the first stock is GS, that is Gold, Goldman Sachs. The first support level, we want to see it hold. It did have the pop-up because um, banks did have, they're able to buy back shares. And the new, uh, that's what the Fed is allowing them to do. They're able to buy back shares. So they will be going up, I would say, for a good month or so. They might be going up, down, up, down, but the overall movement will be up. So the first support level you could try to look out for Start marking these levels is 245. I would say around 245, big figure. This would be the first support level that you want to see price hold. As you can see, it was first resistance, it broke it. Now you want to see this as turn that support for the stock to continue bullishly. It did have a run up, so I am expecting to move down. As you guys know, the run up needs a healthy move down to know that's a, that is an uptrend. So this is the first support level that I want to see. If it does break that, then the next support level, and this will be the last support level for me to still, um, for me to stay bullish, it would be around 240. This is the first support level that you want to see price bounce at. And then if it does bounce right here, you can probably get in a call option. I know I will to make newer highs because I will be getting a longer term contract, like maybe one in April or so. But if it breaks this, this, this will be the last defense level that I would see price hold to it. If it still holds up here and goes up, then I will be bullish. But if it breaks this level, I will be ultimately bearish on the stock and then I would not be looking at it. So these are your two key levels for Goldman Sachs. The first level is 245 and the second level is 240. And the exit would be newer highs, so longer term contract. So that's GS. The next one is JPM, JP Morgan. JP Morgan has been choppy, had to run up. Quickly drop down, sharp move up, sharp down, down, and then trading sideways. It broke out today. So the first support level you want to see is around 121. I would say 121. Some resistance turn to support. If price holds above this level, it will be bullish to get a, a decent call option on that play. And then if that price doesn't hold, the next price level would be around 119 this would be the second price level so this is the better price level right here you want to see price hold but we will allow it to break it to go to this price level but this is the last defense and if it does break this I will be bearish and now we I would not be looking at the stock for a call option so you want to see it bounce up here cross the 40 for bullish um, for um, more bullishness and then get in a call option and hold it for a longer time period because they will be going up. They are buying shares again. So first support level you want to see it hold is 121. The second one is 119 and if it breaks that we will be bearish. And then the next one is BAC. Ignore that green line. That's just that is just where I, I thought price would go and it did. So like I told you guys, I was I did already have BAC call options. Like I said, um, I knew the stock would go up, the buyback shares. I bought around the 26 level, so a little lower than this. And I did get out today when it popped up above my target. So some new support levels you guys can look for. New support level. I would say the first support level you can look for is around 29 around 29.10. If price comes through here and bounces, that will be a good call option and hold for longer term highs. This will be a key level right here. So make sure you guys watch out for that, but I will allow it to go all the way to 28. I will allow it to go to 28. I will allow it to go this far down. This is the first key level where I think we'll see bullishness at to price higher for higher highs. But I will allow it to go down here to stay bullish to price higher highs. 
Now, if it does break this um, support right here, then I will be bearish on the stock and I will not be trading it. So these are your two key levels, mainly the first one. I will think it will bounce off that level. The first level is 29.10 and this level is 28.90. So those are your two key levels. Longer term option, hold through because they will be buying back their shares. The stock will be going up. And then those are my three main ones. And then also the ones I'm looking at are nano dimensions. You can check out my video I made before that to know what these levels are. HLYN is another stock I'll be looking at. You can, I made a video on that. You can check out those levels. Tesla, I made a video on that. You can check out those levels as well. FedEx, made a video. Zoom, Zoom is down here. Uh, that's another one I'm watching tomorrow and GHIV I'll be watching tomorrow as well. And then of course, Moderna and Pfizer, I'll be watching those as well. So hope you guys like this video. I do post every day at 1 p.m. Follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Also, you can get your four free stocks at Woodbull with the link below. And remember, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear on these videos. I will see you in the next video. Catch y'all later, bye.